I don't want to be hyperbolic here, but they let the crop of talent they have coming through is really, really exciting. They've got this group of young players now who could be several of them could be world class players. I don't think that's a, a great stretch to say. Big, athletic, smart, intuitive, instinctive rugby players who are who are coming through now. I think it's a really exciting time for Munster, and it's changed quite quickly. It's only a few years ago that we were talking about, you know, the production line wasn't really hadn't really kicked in, and and now as kind of happens, you get this generation who come through and be really outstanding, and and Crowley's kind of broken through already. There's several other players that we've talked about over, over the years, but the guys who now are kind of kicking into the squad, Ruan Quinn and Gleeson, there was a moment there where they absolutely smashed one of the Dragons players off a, off a line-out last weekend. And you think, these guys are big, powerful men, and they get rugby already, and they're well-developed, and they've got good habits. I mean, Gleeson, it, it is kind of comical looking at him, this lad who just came from the under-20s, and he's hulking over all these professional seasoned pros uh, and he looks really ready i think he looks really smart as well and um there's there's several others thomas ahern looks like he's ready now to kind of kick on and fulfill all that pen- potential dogbo was a massive man who has plenty of raw edges but already can really mix it and and that pairing actually looks really complimentary with ahern running the line out they both almost have traits of an orgy slime and as well as being kind of dogs as as well and and there's loads of others who have kind of come into the squad in the last few years and are probably just waiting to become first choice players. So I think, especially when they're looking at recruitment, Munster kind of look at it internally more than ever. And it's something that Leinster have done really well. They think, do we need to go and sign someone for 300k? Or actually, do we have an academy player here who can play really good six, seven games a season and then hopefully kick on to Champions Cup level? And that's more and more the case, I think, for Munster.